Welcome back to Nightly Nerds. I'm Tote. And I'm Ginger. And we're playing... True Lies. True Lies. So this is one of the first games I had like that I owned myself on Genesis. Like I went out <laughs> and bought it because I loved the movie and I just saw it as a kid. I said, I got to get this game. And I love the game. Played the heck out of it. And then I let somebody borrow it and then he never gave it back to me. He stole it. That's the, that's the curse of... Uh elementary school friends yep yep i got uh the first golden axe game out of it yeah that's not a bad trade yeah but i still i rather have had this because then i had sega channel and i had golden axe was always on there yeah because golden axe is a staple so we gotta if this is the beginning of the movie if you remember it's at the place where he dances the tango with the asian chick and yeah. we gotta get the information of the terrace oh there's the uzi right there so i'm thinking that this switches no nope. that switches all right Woo. Are they just bumping into you? Oh, then they won't. Yeah. So I, I learned this when I was a kid. I used to struggle with this level. If you don't shoot anybody at the beginning, because at the beginning, remember, he's walking around the parties to get invited guest. So you just have to pretend like he doesn't have a gun right now. Oh, there's the shotgun. How do I get outside? Right here, maybe? No, probably down to left, though, for sure. I remember, yeah, because there's ammo in here for the shotgun. But I, just couldn't, I couldn't remember where it was at. But yeah, if you don't shoot anybody in the beginning, they won't shoot you. So you just pretend like you don't have a gun. I'm dancing the tango with an Asian chick right now. Sure you are. Yeah, it's got to be some. I love this movie, by the way. It's Maybe you can shoot out the window? Yeah, but if I shoot, they're going to start shooting me. Oh, I don't want to pick that up. I can't pick it up anyway. I want to save it just in case I need it later. Shotgun, Shotgun ammo. ammo. Come on, let me through. Let me through. Let me through. Mark, mark. You know, you've seen True Lies? Nope. You've never seen True Lies? Okay, we're gonna have to, it's gonna be on, it's a list of movies that I have to make you watch. Oh, there's a shotgun. That must be a better shotgun outside. It looked more like a Magnum. Ben, but Ben, but Ben. Maybe it's like a shotgun with more range. So here's the, we need the, the key pass thingy, pass card. Oh yeah, but you, you gotta remember like, our religious upbringing and how, this is PG-13. How strict my parents are. Oh, okay. This is a PG-13 movie. So my parents no. were definitely not that way with movies. My dad, my dad's a, as as a, is, is big time on movies. You know, he's got the sound set, surround sound, yeah. big TV, everything. So now they're gonna shoot at me because I'm in a place I'm not supposed to be. And I love the blood. It's so graphic. Yeah, especially for the time. That was a Ooh. that's six sprites for that one death animation. That's six sprites just for him dying. It's awesome, isn't it? I love this game. Wow, whoever whoever did this was like putting their all into it. Cause... Yeah, I mean, it's, it's a solid little... I love the pea shoots. I just gotta remember to reload. Oh, you see the Neo when I, after I tumbled? Like, boom, boom, boom. Oh no, see like that. Ugh. That's bad. Ugh, get out of there. Get out of there. Get out of there. Eee! Anytime like I'm seeing this, like any and especially anytime I see games like this, like um uh It's worth shooting again, just get the reload. I'm constantly like reminded of um oh, shoot. I think it was a Konami oh. game called Total, Total Carnage, in which it was this style of like isometric look, but it's just literally designed to just make it as gory and bloody as possible. It's great. I love it. I think there's something down here. I want to check. I'm just trying to clear everything out here. You got to figure out how to get that gun. I'm going to be disappointed if you don't. I, I know. I, I may have gotten it when I was... About to run out of pistols. Oh, you never run out of pistol ammo. It's unlimited. No, you run out of pistols. Okay. You have grenade. I bet you had to break that back window. Probably. At the very beginning to get that shotgun. But whatever. What if it's just Whee! an upgraded pistol? It may be. What if it carries through all the rest of the game? What are we going to do with that upgraded pistol, Larry? What are we going to do? Get my health. Bam, I have so much Uzi ammo. Why don't you figure out how to use it? I do, like that, see? That's grenades. 
Oh, crap. Oh, no. Ah. Boosh. There we go. Like this. It's kind of hard to aim it. <laughs> it works good against certain enemies that, like, have a lot of health. Yeah. Uh, the shotgun. Shotgun has a very limited wait, 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 range. Wait, do a weapon swap for me again? Well, when you're safe, that is. Okay, it it looked like when you uh, when you shifted from the Uzi to the shotgun that it just materialized. Oh, from that like sideways profile. Yeah, the where the guns on his right and we're looking at his right. And bam, and then you gotta do this. Yeah, look, I did it. That's um, what's his name? Who used to be married to Roseanne? Oh no. Uh, uh. Go, Harry, go! Alright. Made it. It looks like, with the way the sprite is, it looks like he's firing a second gun from that side profile in his in his other hand. And that so is to be a, careful, I can't shoot civilians. That is a weird... That's a weird looking freaking body type. For Arnold? Yeah. Well, it's freaking Arnold Schwarzenegger. It's still like all the guys just standing there on his phone. It's just the the proportions are very odd. I used to play. I mean, I used to play the hell out of this game, so that's why I'm kind of being cautious. Because like, I, if you get too willy nilly, you run out of health fast, and you just don't pick any up. Yeah, but that's the fun. I like to win. Okay. I know you do. <laughs> ah. You shot that civilian with the gun. The civilian with a gun? Hey. Not- bad guys don't just have guns. This isn't, like, America in the 90s. Should've used a shotgun on that guy, I don't know why I didn't- What is up here? I don't remember. What is this? Oh! Okay! <laughs> I almost blasted that fool! It is not very good music, though. I do have to say that. Yeah. Could use some health about now. Woo! Complain, and we he shall deliver unto you. Oops! Kill the civilian. <laughs> uh, Watch out for the taxpayers. Boom! <laughs> Can you imagine that? For real? <laughs> that would freaking suck. All right, just gotta right. get out you, of this you gotta, place. You gotta get that gun. You, you gotta get that gun. I'm, I'm sorry. All right, I'm All right, gonna you're, go. You're outside. All right, I'm gonna check this side. Can you go? Is the down just a straight up exit? I don't know. We'll find out. Yeah, I think it is. Can I? Nope. That's it. Well, I'm disappointed. Oh, I'm sorry. I can't even run down the hill. You've disappointed Tiger Mom. So this is like another important part I learned as a kid. Don't fight anybody. Just go. Just go and go and only shoot if you absolutely have to. Hurry before the Yeti finds you. Yes, it's like just like the ski the, ski. Yeah, ski game on Microsoft. Yep. That Yeti used to scare the crap out of me. Oh, same. Same. I played that and Chip. I could be actually be doing well and I don't know where this Yeti just pops up. You're yep. Like, no. I played that and Chips Challenge all the time. Chips Challenge was like I think it was, it's an extra life. It was the game, man. It was the game. Because eventually a helicopter comes and you you just can't. No. Yeah, you can't you can't fight the helicopters. You just gotta book it. 
So when I was a kid, I used to try to fight my way down this hill, and I like learned, oh yeah, you can't do that. Ah, uh, quit shooting at me, helicopter. I just gotta get to the van. Get to the van, run from the chopper! The chopper. Run from the chopper! There it is. boom. We're safe now, we made it. And that's gonna end this episode. And that's gonna end this episode of Nightly Nerds. As always, I'm Tote. And I'm Ginger. And if you guys are interested in seeing more True Lies, let us know. But if not, it's cool. Yeah. See you guys next time. Bye-bye. Hey, did you like that video? Well, if you did, click the box on the right for another. Click the box on the left for a playlist. Of course, you could always just subscribe by clicking the link in the middle. Come find us on social media. There are links in the description below. Don't be afraid to leave us a comment. Thanks for watching. I'm Tote. I'm Ginger. See you then. Bye.